Hello and welcome today on Mr. Ben Makes. Uh, today we're going to be having a look at the Type 1 Phaser from TNG. Uh, link to the Thingiverse video, um, file will be in the description. So I'm using the Creality Ender 3 here. Printing with Sunlu PLA. Going quite nicely. Uh, this is actually the second time I've printed it, as I'll show you why in a moment. Here's the print just ending now. Woohoo! I love it when a print ends, don't we all, hey? Okay, here's the phaser, and here's a keyring I bought from the 1990s. It's a bit small. Let's make it bigger! Alright, that's much better. Much more nicer size. I can actually touch the buttons with my thumb. Yeah, let's do this. So I take it outside and use some surface primer in grey. And I spray paint it. I have also some gold press latinum on the line and a type 2 cobra phaser, which we'll see in a future video. It's a bit cold that day, but it seems to have did well. So just spraying the phaser here. You'll we'll probably see this clip in a future video, but oh well. Remember people, always wear a mask when uh, spray painting. You don't want to be absorbing those fumes. I'm just wearing one of those uh, COVID masks. It's actually a Star Trek one made by my friend. Link to her Etsy shop will be in the description below. Please do go and support her. That'd be brilliant if you could. So I'm just hanging it across my garden with some uh, green power cord and some duct uh, some masking tape. Okay, setting up my print station, my painting station, sorry, there's a bit of water. There's my mixing plate and where I'll put all my paintbrushes. I have actually got some new paintbrushes since recording this, so I'm using X1 Black from Tamiya. Uh, we've got some X28 Park Green, that'll come in handy. Oh, there's the other paint. There we are, X12 Gold. Take the green away for a second. Give it a good shake. You always must shake your paints. Don't want them separating. X7 Red. That's squeaking you can hear is my chair. It's uh, very old. I'm getting some new ones for Christmas, hopefully. Ah, the phaser. So, I'm going to leave the main body... Uh, I'm going to leave the main body of it, um, the primer grey, as my tricorder and other equipment I've already painted will match. So first we're going to use the X1 Black, Just unscrew the lid, first time this has ever been opened. Painting around a tricorder, not fun, actually rather difficult, but I think I did alright. Okay, so I'm just painting the tip of the phaser emitter. Just speed it up a little bit here, 1.75 speed. Don't want to bore you for too long. I'm not the best cleanest of painters, but hopefully my skill will improve with every video. And new brushes. So the Type 1 TNG Cricket Phaser. Kept in the pocket of the Starfleet officers, it was primarily used for uh, diplomatic missions as a personal defence where you want to sneak a weapon in. Uh, you know, carrying a Type 1, Type 2 phaser, sorry, on your, on your person, very obvious. Whereas the Type 1 can easily hide inside a pocket, up your sleeve, in your trousers. So, it was a diplomatic weapon, just for, in case things went sideways. Yeah, let's. I'm happy with that. That's looking good. Oh, quick little touch up there. So I'm not worried about the black inside the little bits. And always wash your brushes. Always remember to do that. Now onto the X12 gold leaf. Ah, oh, pry that open. There we go. Oh, doesn't that look lovely? Looks like a paw print in the paint. And always remember as well, seal up previous paints, you don't want them going dry. Uh, 
My, uh, what you can hear in the background is my 3D printer. It's printing a customer's order. So let's try and break up the bristles a little bit there. And we're going to start with the button. This was the main trigger of the cricket. Uh, you push that down and a phaser bee would come out and make someone's day very, either very horrible or make your day a lot easier, especially on those diplomatic missions. Someone not negotiating very well, just stun them for a bit and go, oh sorry, you fainted. I'm sure that's what the officers always did. Just rubbing my hands on something, getting a little sweaty. Mm, I'm quite happy with the way that's... Oh, oh dear, a little overspill. Try and rub that off quickly. I can always masking tape over and spray it again, which I probably will do. Just do the setting buttons now. So these buttons were how you would change the settings on your phaser. So I think the left one at the bottom of the screen is down and the right one was up. Lovely bit of ASMR there. So we're going on to park green now. This will be our indicator lights. Which is that little grill above the settings. That's actually where the indicator lights were. So the more lights you had on your phaser, the more power you had. And speed it up again. Oh, my hand is so shaky. Yes, hopefully with these newer brushes this will be a much easier task to do. So I might reprint one. And do it all again. Who would like to see that? Leave a comment in the description. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that little bell notification to never miss an upload. Also check out Triangulum Audio Studios on YouTube. Me and him are working on a series of we uh, videos about phaser weaponry through the history of the Starfleet. Episode 1 is up and looks at the Enterprise era as well as the cage. I think it did very well, so please go and have a check that out. I um, think part two will be out soon. Or if it isn't already. Okay. Ah, now back to the um, key ring from the 1990s. I actually had a f forgotten I had this. Oh, no, I've made a mistake. Oh, dear. So, I think it's back to the gold leaf. Yep, so what's what I've done here is I've printed the button gold, but I should have painted the uh, the thumb grip gold and the button silver. Oops. So, yep, definitely back to the gold leaf. Speed things up a little bit and just slap on the paint. There we go, all over the place. Who cares how accurate it is and how... Oh, my. Oh, that overspill. Oh, no. Definitely going to have to respray this one. I'll mask and tape up the bits I've painted and respray it. Shouldn't be a problem. I've done it before. And now the gold band around the top to separate the emitter from the rest of the unit. Uh, the model only has the band at the top so what I'm going to do is just freehand it all the way around. You can see my hand shaking there in super speed. I'm actually quite impressed with this so far. I rather like it. There we go. It's looking a lot better. That black should be almost dry now. Just a little touch up. Oh, just a bit down there. So, next on to another paint brush. A brand new thinner brush. The red's a bit stuck. Come on. There we go. These are brand new paint tubs, so they've never been opened since they were sealed in the factory. So now to do the little red inside the grill of the main phaser emitter. In the show, these bits would light up red to tell them when the actor was pushing the button. Uh, 
the key rings you can see beside me, the buttons do actually work and there is actually a little red LED light on the tip of it. It does make a little noise as well, I'm rather impressed with it. Oh, a bit overspill, but not a problem because I can come back to that with the black paint. You can always put on more paint, and you can never take it off. You can always cover up missteps as well. Oop, just rub that off there, make it even worse. Silly Ben. And now the final tip where the actual phaser beam would come out. Type 1 phaser was able to stun and kill and blow someone up if I remember correctly. This is actually the second version that was seen in the show. The first version was just an all silver design with gold buttons. So that gold is now nice and dry. So I'm bringing out another paint. This is X11 Chrome Silver. I'd actually use this on my phaser rifle so the paint pot is absolutely empty. Tire park used on a phaser rifle. You can see pictures of that on my Facebook page, link in the description. Always wash your brushes, make sure they're nice and clean. And there we have it, Ooh, almost dropped it, the Type 1 TNG Phaser. A little bit of touch-up will be done off camera, but otherwise I'm quite impressed with that. Thank you for watching, and good night.